Today we've actually got a super sick video. If you are looking to automate your Facebook outreach, then I promise you, you will not find a better video than this on YouTube. And the reason I'm saying that is because the methods I'm going to expose in this video are completely free. You don't need to pay for any software in this video. Secondly, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So it's not going to be any easier than this. And the three secret strategies I'm going to show you in this video is number one, how to scrape a Facebook group and the members inside of it into a Google Sheets fully automated. The second thing is how we're going to essentially build an automation within five minutes that is going to be able to write personalized messages just like these ones right here. And you can see how many it's going to do with one click of a button. Like, hey, Ron, I saw you're doing incredible work as the CEO at HSA and wondered if you would be open to getting more clients on a complete results basis. You can change the offer for whatever your offer is. But my point is that it's actually going to be personalized and automated. And then the third thing is at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a secret, secret way of how to send these personalized messages that have been automated to them completely on autopilot. So you wouldn't have seen that before. So let's dive into it. The first place we're going to start is on Facebook. I need you to basically find a few different groups in your niche. So in this case, as an example, I'm just going to be scraping digital marketers. So people that sell a service. Now, once you click on people, all you need to do is head over to the Chrome extension store and download this Chrome extension called Instant Data Scraper. It's completely free. You don't need to pay for it and just pin it to your Chrome bar so you can see it at the top right. Once you've done that, you can basically just click on it and it's going to load up this. And you can just see that it basically just scrapes all of the people, including their URL to their profile, their name, their bio and some other info if you want that. But all you need to do is just start crawling. And that basically means that it's going to go down this Facebook group and scrape all of these people into a CSV. Then I'm going to show you how to filter it so you can yeah, get high quality leads and not just random people who have joined the group. And then after I've shown you how to filter these leads, I'm then going to show you how to actually build a really easy and quick automation that's going to be able to write personalized messages to them. And I'm even going to give you my prompt. So definitely keep watching. Let's just quickly turn off this automation because as you can see, we've already gotten quite a few leads. So if we stop calling, you can see that this is perfect. We're going to download this as a CSV. We are then going to go back to Google Chrome and head over to ChatGPT. Very quickly, we're just going to filter these leads. This should take no more than 30 seconds. So upload the file and write a simple message like filter this list and remove the leads that don't have a bio. So that's basically a very simple thing. Sometimes it says that, but that doesn't matter. It's still going to give you the actual... Um, yeah, filtered leads. So download the CSV and it's going to give you the filtered leads in literally two seconds. So I'm doing this live, which is amazing. Um, you can see that if you click on this, it has downloaded it up here. So if we click on that, you can see that it's filtered all of these leads within 20 seconds. Now, obviously you can actually add more um, things if you wanted to, like you could say filter these leads and remove anyone who isn't your niche, right? If you want to get extra super high quality leads, but that's the first step. So now what we're going to do is, I mean, that enough is to get the first name, Facebook, and then the bio. So now what we're going to do is actually build this really quick automation. So let's uh, head over to make.com. If you've never used make.com before, it is quite literally one of my favorite softwares. And the reason for that is it's completely free and you don't even need to put your card info in so you can stay on it for unlimited time, which is amazing. So log in and you're going to create a new scenario at the top right. Now, I'm actually going to give you my secret chat GPT prompts because it's really powerful for copywriting. So the first thing we're going to do is select Google Sheets and search new rows. So search rows is right here. Obviously, you want to select the right email address. Make sure you connect your Google Sheets to make.com. Then select the uh, correct spreadsheet. So this is the Facebook members. So we would select Facebook members. If you just simply search for it, you can see that we've got it right here. Then once this loads, obviously we want to have the sheet name. This is just the uh, the bottom part down here. So that's what that means. Um, then let's quickly, yeah, go here. You can remove that. And this is all perfectly fine. So um, that doesn't matter that it's red there. 
Um, now, what we want to do is if we look at this automation, it's the ChatGPT one. So what this looks like is we've got this prompt right here, which I'm actually going to show you in a second. So keep watching because this is probably the most valuable thing in the video. So you're going to select on open AI and create a chat completion. Once you click on that, you are going to select the model that you want. I recommend this one. If you pay for it, if you don't pay for it, then you can just go for the, I don't know if you can go for like the four or 3.5, either one's fine, doesn't really matter. Add message, assistant, message content. So this is the prompt that we want to give ChatGPT. So I'm gonna paste in my prompt and I'm gonna pause this so you can see this in a second. Let's just put this here. This will all make sense in literally like um, two seconds. The reason I can't find that bio is because it's uh, it's another Google Sheets, but you would have their bio in the, because uh, we, we scraped their bio. If you remember correctly, if we go here, we have their bio. So it's essentially gonna be able to write the personalized first line based off this bio, which is actually information about them. So this is how it knows how to have a personalized first message um, and then with your offer. So here is the prompt that we've given ChatGPT. We've basically said, your job is to act as a seven figure copywriter that will write personalized opening messages to leads based off this information from the individual prospects. That's spelled wrong, but it doesn't matter. I put below, um, so their first name. So obviously it's gonna include their first name in the message and then their bio, which you have because you scraped it following what I just showed you five minutes prior. And then we've told ChatGPT to only include words that are cold um, DM script, so like in the cold DM script, and obviously only have that in the output. Don't include anything that isn't the actual opening message. So what that means is we don't want like, um, like sometimes it will say, sure, Charlie, here is your cold DM script. We just want it to say the cold DM script right here, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's super simple. Um, and please follow the framework below. I don't know if we included that, but in this one, there should be that. So let's just copy and paste this over. So you can obviously pause this video and just use the same prompt as me and it will work really well. So we've got, hey, first name. So it's gonna replace that with their first name. I saw personalized compliment about their bio, basically, and their profile. I wondered if you would be open to getting more clients on a complete results basis. You can change this forever you want. However, I recommend provoking curiosity and just going for more the end result and just trying to get a yes, basically. So once you click on that, you are pretty much done for the automation. All you need to do is just put the max tokens. Let's just do a, th a thousand. It doesn't really matter what you put for that. And let's put the output as Google Sheets. So we are going to actually add a row. You're gonna select the correct Google Sheet that you want to add the output to. So let's just do the same one, obviously. Then if you give it a second to load, you can see that we wanna select the same sheet name. And you can see here that we want to have the result as the actual opener here. So once you do that, that is perfect. Save anyway. Um, I think the issue of this may be the, this part um, or order by, I think I need to put in, yeah, we could do, usually there'd be a bio here, but I think it's because it can't see the bio, but if you just do that, it should remove the actual X. So that's perfect. So um, what this means is once you have done the first step, which is putting members into the CSV, into here, which I showed you how to do using instant data scraper and then filtering. You can then basically just run this automation and it's gonna search for this information in here. It's then going to use the ChatGPT prompt and it's gonna act as a seven figure copywriter to write a personalized message based off their first name and bio. Just make sure you include the bio in here and make sure you obviously put that in the uh, in the prompt, which I, I do have here for this one, but I just didn't have time to put it in this one. But Nonetheless, that is how it works. And then it basically puts the output for each person right here in this time, uh, sorry, in this row. Now, sometimes it will mess up the actual like order of it. And that's totally fine because we use ChatGPT to fix that like ASAP. So what I mean by that is sometimes like Terry may be like here instead of like at the top. So what we do there is you just download this as a CSV. So click file, download CSV, and then you can head over to ChatGPT and you can basically upload the file. So upload from computer. And once you've done that, you can basically tell ChatGPT to please match their name. So this is just in case, basically, just to recap, this is just in case that it doesn't have like the Lucy first line on the actual row that Lucy is on. So you can just use ChatGPT to actually match 
the personalized opener and I've tested this all it works perfectly fine with their first name so I can have the Google so I can have the list match correctly and if you do that it should work instantly but you may just have to ask ChatGPT to actually be more specific and match it with the uh, the personalized opener which has the name in it with the actual name in the column so yeah if you do that it should work um, and then that will basically get it neat like that so download it upload it again to the CSV and then you'll be good to go so now you should have leads like this already populated with a personalized opener so all that's left to do which is the thing I promise you and probably the most valuable thing is actually sending this message automated. So now I'm going to show you really easily how to send your personalized message to the prospect on complete autopilot. So you could get a coffee, you could go to the gym and you don't have to actually um, manually send it. Obviously you could very easily just copy and paste this and click on their profile URL and then send it to them. It takes like five, 10 seconds. Um, so yeah, that's one option. But if you want to be a bit more lazy, then you can do this. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to have your actual um, cursor somewhere that you can remember. So let's just put it on the A for Arial. And this will all make sense in a second. So if it sounds confusing, don't worry. And we're going to start the recording. So that is on Merga. As I mentioned, if you're on Windows, you can do another macro recorder. Um, so let's start the recording by clicking Command R. Recording started. We're then going to go down on the keyboard. We're going to click right. And make sure you don't use your mouse for this. Do Control C, so or Command C to basically copy the URL. Then do Command T to open a new tab. Paste in the URL, and then click Enter. So we're just doing this once, and then obviously the macro recorder will know what to do. We're then going to click on Message, and we're going to go back on here. We're going to go right on our keyboard, copy the message back here, paste it in, and then we're going to click Enter. Now just shut the tab go back on the keyboard, place the cursor where on the A, which is where we started, and end the recording. recording start. Just like that, you have done the actual um, successful thing, which is, yeah, doing the recording. And that's by far the hardest part. It may take a few times to actually make this work. So now, if you just do Command S, which starts the recording, you're finished. That's all you need to do. So Command S, playback started. it's going to start the playback, which is basically just replicating what we did on the first one. So this should be Mohammed's profile. If it's not Mohammed's profile, it is what it is. I think it may have messed up a little bit, but let's see. Um, it's going to basically copy the profile. You can see that I'm not touching anything. It's going to paste it into the search bar. So it's not Mohammed, but nonetheless, the principle is the same. It's then going to click on message, which is what we did. So you can see that it's going to click on message. It's then going to go back onto the Google Sheet without me doing anything. And it's going to copy the name. It's going to then paste that as a message to the person. You'd, you'd obviously have it lined up correctly so it is the correct name. But in this case, it doesn't really matter because I just want to showcase this automation. It's then going to go back and it's just going to repeat this 20 times without you doing anything. So you could get a coffee, you could get a you know, drink, chill. I recommend being in front of the MacBook just in case it messes up. But you know, you could, do, you could be on your phone right now and it would just send messages for you. So that's how it works. And obviously, it would repeat until... So let's just stop this because I don't want to... It would just go for all 20 times, but um, I actually want to demonstrate that this could be a lot more. However, you know, you don't want it to be too many per hour just because Facebook will restrict you basically. So try not to do that. Um, however, what you could do is you could potentially spend a lot longer between each message, if that makes sense, on the recording and then just like spend the rest of your day out. So if you take, let's say, 10 minutes to um, do a message and then play that back. It would obviously take 10 minutes to send the next message, but you don't have to do anything. So that would probably be a smarter way. Just make sure you don't ha uh, mess up any like, you obviously can't go on your MacBook or your laptop whilst doing this because it would mess it up and it has to be in the right place each time. So yeah, have a play around with it. Worst case, if you can't get that to work, don't worry. Just copy and paste it onto them because we've, we've already done the hard part of writing the personalized message, which takes time to do, right? So. That's that. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just drop a like, subscribe, and I'll probably put some resources in the description so you can get more support if you need it. And take it easy. Make sure you subscribe though because I've got a bunch of videos coming soon. And have an amazing day.